the future. Launch your career with ASC Career Paths at alfredstate.edu. After you've been injured at work, you might feel like you're up against your employer. But the truth is, your employer isn't the opponent, the insurance company is. You need a workers' comp attorney with the knowledge and experience to maximize your benefits. Call Connors and Ferris today as we have dedicated over 20 years of our professional careers to helping injured workers. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Uh, my name is Richard Powell. I'm an athlete at Alfred State College. The reason why I came to see Dr. Wilhelm is because of my shoulder injuries. Um, I had suffered an injury on my 21st birthday on the field against Gallaudet. He did a great job with my surgery. I played the entire season with it perfectly fine. I was able to tackle people without like restrictions. The best and quickest recovery I ever had from any injury that I had working with him. He gets the job done and he knows what he's doing. So I highly recommend you guys come to see Dr. Wilhelm. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'd be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan agency. you give for a child you loved to make their wish come true to help them fight a critical illness just imagine what you'd do you see wishes are so powerful and you can make them real they can give a child back their childhood even change the way they feel every single one of us can make the stars align because when we come together hope and joy will shine Traditional checking accounts are old news. So what are you waiting for? Reach new heights with Apex Rewards checking from First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Apex gives you the option to choose between cash back or high interest with a free checking account that pays you. Plus, ATM fees get refunded. Choose your rewards at fhfcu.org and get one step closer to achieving your financial goals. Shop, finance, and buy your next car all online. With a new shopping experience at your fingertips, make car buying simple when you drive your deal at Simmons Rockwell Nissan in Horseheads and Hornell. Hi, I'm Laura Dagan Pico, and along with my father, Jim Dagan, operate the Dagan Funeral Home here in Hornell. The Dagan Funeral Home is a large, spacious, handicap accessible facility with a seating capacity of 150 people along with a separate family room for entertaining children. We also offer DVD memorial tributes which continually show photographs and movies of your loved one's life on two beautiful flat screen TVs. The Dagan Funeral Home, five generations of the Dagan family serving your family. Hi, I'm Bob Uecker. I was five years old when Lou Gehrig gave his famous luckiest man speech. Lou retired from baseball that day because of the devastating disease known as ALS. Back then, I never imagined I would one day grow up to be a Major League Baseball player or spend my life in baseball. And I certainly didn't imagine that ALS would take my daughter Leanne's life and another close friend. ALS robs a person of their ability to walk, talk, eat, and breathe. It's been eight decades since Lou's speech, and we still don't have a cure. But we are making progress turning ALS 
from a fatal disease into a livable one, and we need your help to finally strike out ALS. Please join us in the fight by visiting ALS.org. Thank you. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'd be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan agency. We're opening doors to your future at Alfred State, the number one SUNY regional college. Combine tech skills and knowledge to analyze problems and succeed together. Launch your career with ASC Career Paths at alfredstate.edu. along with my daughter Laura, own and operate the Dagan Funeral Home here in Hornell. The Dagan Funeral Home was established way back in 1883 by my great-great-grandfather and is the oldest family-owned funeral home in the area. We offer traditional funerals for all faiths as well as low-cost cremation services and we will be happy to assist you with pre-planning and inflation-proof financing. The Dagan Funeral Home, five generations of the Dagan family serving your family. So hello everybody and welcome to Maple City Park for a game between Hornell and Livonia. It's the Livonia Bulldogs versus the Hornell Red Raiders from Maple City Park. The rain has passed us, that's why we're a little bit late getting on and they did some prep on the field like they always do. And I was having the discussion here with um, Mr. Stewart from Livonia and, and some of the Hornell people too. I said, whatever happened to tarps? I remember when I was a kid here, they had tarps for the field. And um, they had the baseball team roll the tarp out and fold it up. Well, nobody does that anymore, apparently. And I guess he was saying Livonia's uh, field is underwater right now. So they had to cancel the JV game up there. And, uh, and it happens. We've just been inundated with so much rain that uh, it's been hard to keep the fields dry. Charlie Oyer on the mound for the Hornell Red Raiders. Okay, sorry about that. I had to order food from our concession stand and from those that are from Livonia that don't, I've always uh, been kind of upset when this is my 35th year that Hornell hasn't had a concession stand at a baseball stadium in, I don't know, 20 years. And I said, all these other schools have them. I know Livonia didn't last year for some reason. I don't know if, you know what why they closed that down. But anyways, uh, now we have one of the best concession stands we have uh, Grilled cheese sandwiches with tomato soup, Philly cheese steaks, everything. So if you ever make it down this way, you gotta make it to a game. Okay, we're getting ready to start out. So Seth 80 at the plate. Looks at ball one and it takes a strike. So one and one. The scoreboard doesn't work here. They put new lighting in the stadium and that's why you'll see in the outfield you see a lot of uh, hay around. Looks like a, it looks like a uh, 
warning track, but it's not. It's hay from they were damaged the field quite a bit, and then they cut the line to the scoreboard and apparently damaged the watering system on the field and everything here. So it's unfortunately we have new lighting, but nothing else works. This one in play. It's going to drop. Wow, I'm surprised it was right in, it dropped right in front of him. Fortunately, couldn't uh, get to it in time. Take a look at the replay. I wonder if he lost it. So a base hit for 80 to lead things off here. This is O'Keefe, Brady O'Keefe, the 11th grader. So ball gets away as 80 runs down to seven, gets his ju parents are gonna be real happy. There you go, there's some cleaning you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, way to get dirty here, the guys. <laughs> Base goes 80. Seth. Again, two and four. Livonia's record coming into today's game. Cornell comes in with a one in three record. Cornell lost to the winless Warsaw team the other day and then ends up beating the undefeated team Dansville yesterday. Four to one victory over Dansville. <laughs> that was awesome. It's really going to ground in. Of course, you see those commercials for ground in dirt. Here he comes. <laughs> hmm. Connor Fian, the senior up. Safe, Fian beats it out. 
Nice hustle, Connor. A long way to throw that ball by Pico. was fouled off. Fian has to come back. Tommy Stewart. I guess Tommy, talking to his father, is going to go down to Florida after graduation. His older brother's Thank you so much. His older brother is uh, becoming an airline pilot. One of my former employees, and of course Justin D'Amato, who played baseball for Hornell and stuff. Uh, just, I think he just graduated from the same college. There's a base hit. I forget what the college is called, but good job. I was telling his father, I said, the basketball game I did between Hornell and Livonia, I said, I think I said your son's name about 50 times. He was so uh, dominant in that game. I'll tell you, one hit after another here. Ball gets free. Runners are going to advance. Logan Snyder. So Williamson on first, or on second now. Stewart on third. Another ball gets away. Wow. So Fian comes across the plate. Zach Williamson moves to third. Everything's happening so fast. Number 12, Jack Thibault is at the plate. Three and oh to Debo. And walk some. No counter. They have to play. So 
Runners on the corners. And got him. Nice throw. Daniel Barnett. <laughs> Nothing Williamson could do that time. Nice throw by Barnett. Limits the damage. So we go to the bottom of the first. Today's game is brought to you by Wilkins Auto Sales. We complete car hauler, utility trailers, and dump trailers location just on your way outside of Hornell toward Alfred. And State Route 21, give them a call, 607-368-2842, Wilkins Auto Sales. And, of course, Strobel Supply, 40, Shawmut Industrial Park in Hornell. They're now hiring, as they're always hiring. They're expanding and expanding. Strobel Supply in Hornell. Strobel's and Lamax Auto Max and Lamax Pro Wrench Tire and Auto Complete Auto Care and Collision at Lamax Auto Max. Log on to Lamax Auto Max. That's with two X's.com. Check out their complete inventory of used trucks, vans, and autos at Lamax Auto Max. Oops. And by Oyer Self Storage, located right up Route 21 in Almond, 24-day access, over 140 units, long-term discounts, sizes up 10 by 30s, safe and secure. And of course, you can put your cars and trucks and stuff in there as well. Thank you. St. James Hospital's Orthopedics Department, where champions are cheered on. Thank you, St. James Hospital, for all your support. Injured, they've got you covered, thanks to the doctors at St. James Hospital's Orthopedics Department. So good job by Livonia in the top of the first. Now it's Hornell's turn with Gennaro Pico, Gennaro Pico up. And that one skips by, so both pitchers starting out a little rough here. Connor Fian pitching. And a four pitch walk. Going to bring up Charlie Oyer, the pitcher. Check that. Andrew Davis, the center fielder, is up. Davis fouls one back. <laughs> there was a girl walking. That was funny. Uh, and there's a, I'll show it to you right after this. I wish I had 50 cameras covering all the action here. Real quick, there's that this netting right here. That ball came right back to the net. She was standing right there, walking, and it it put the net right back to almost kind of hit her, came close to hitting her, and she jumped back. Of course, then everyone starts laughing. And a steal by Gennaro. As Davis strikes out, this is Davin Oyer with Charlotte Oyer on deck. Kind of shifting things around and they've had the lineup the last couple of days. There's a strike. And 
Chapman got him. Pico over to third. So two down. Charlie Orr hoping to help himself here as the pitcher for Hornell. Get a, a Pico to come home. This one lifted. Should be easy for O'Keefe and it is. So after one inning of play, the score is three nothing Livonia. We'll be back after this. Big Blue welcomes you to Alfred State, the number one SUNY regional college. Learn professional services like business, medical, or food service. Your skills will serve you well in the future. Launch your career with ASC Career Paths at alfredstate.edu. After you've been injured at work, you might feel like you're up against your employer. But the truth is, your employer isn't the opponent, the insurance company is. You need a workers' comp attorney with the knowledge and experience to maximize your benefits. Call Connors and Ferris today as we have dedicated over 20 years of our professional careers to helping injured workers. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Uh, my name is Richard Powell. I'm an athlete at Alfred State College. The reason why I came to see Dr. Wilhelm is because of my shoulder injuries. Um, I had suffered an injury on my 21st birthday on the field against Gallaudet. He did a great job with my surgery. I played the entire season with it perfectly fine. I was able to tackle people without like restrictions. The best and quickest recovery I ever had from any injury that I had working with him. He gets the job done and he knows what he's doing. So I highly recommend you guys come to see Dr. Wilhelm. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'll be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan agency. Hey, welcome back. Jacob Benitez, the 10th grader up. This is Ryan Bosch. <coughs> Bosch follows one off out of play. <laughs> one and two to Bosch. Foul down the first baseline. Oh my God, turn that 
issue with my streaming system here so if we lose you for a second here I might have to <laughs> shut down and come back it just says loading there's nothing I can do try to stay with you here until between the innings I just can't change the score I can't do anything Seth, 80. 81 for one here. We saw him get a base hit his first at bat. So when we lose you for a second, you'll see the spinning, obviously, of your internet trying to find the stream. It'll come back up. Just so you know, it might take a minute or so. Or less than a minute. I'll do it between innings or between uh, at bats, anyways, or between teams, I should say. This one popped up. Out. Still got Ryan Bosch on first with two outs. This is Brady O'Keefe. There's the, uh, oh, it's starting to grow grass now. The warning track it looked like. This is the last game for Hornell for a week and a half, it looks like. I think Hornell's spring break is this week. Wow, what a catch. And that's the third out. Nice catch by Daniel Barnett. I don't have a replay of it because I can't access the computer system that locked up. But Nice job, Daniel. So we're going to take a, we might lose you, we may not. Yep, I'm going to lose you. So we're going to be off for a few seconds. Stay right with us. We'll get back to you momentarily.
Okay, I guess we're back on, back with you here. This one popped up. 80 underneath it, good job, Seth. So one down, that was Wyatt Evingham at the plate. on the air live, but my scoreboard does not work now. So Braden Vaughn makes it to first. Logan Snyder up now, the catcher. Two to Snyder. Three nothing, favor of Livonia. Apologize, our score, my scoreboard, the scoreboard at the stadium here doesn't work either. And my scoreboard doesn't work. As Snyder strikes out. This has happened only one other time to me with this system. <clears throat> Daniel Barnett with Vaughn on first with two outs. Three and oh. a walk. Oh, my, my on-screen advertisements work. But the scoreboard isn't. That 
one's going to get free Horn Hill. Runners are advanced. Vaughn to third. Barnett to second. Again, Lavoni's up three to nothing. This is Eric Ross. Chases him back. <laughs> Don't take it personally. One of the fans yells out. Uh. Swings through that one. Two and two. Nice pitch from Feehan. See if I can get my scoreboard operational here. East Blue welcomes you to Alfred State, the number one SUNY regional college. Learn professional services like business, medical, or food service. Your skills will serve you well in the future. Launch your career with ASC Career Paths at alfredstate.edu. After you've been injured at work, you might feel like you're up against your employer. But the truth is, your employer isn't the opponent, the insurance company is. You need a workers' comp attorney with the knowledge and experience to maximize your benefits. Call Connors and Ferris today as we have dedicated over 20 years of our professional careers to helping injured workers. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Uh, my name is Richard Powell. I'm an athlete at Alfred State College. The reason why I came to see Dr. Wilhelm is because of my shoulder injuries. Um, I had suffered an injury on my 21st birthday on the field against Gallaudet. He did a great job with my surgery. I played the entire season with it perfectly fine. I was able to tackle people without like restrictions. The best and quickest recovery I ever had from any injury that I had working with him. He gets the job done and he knows what he's doing. So I highly recommend you guys come to see Dr. Wilhelm. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'd be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan agency. This is the pitcher, Connor Fian. Top of the third. Fian fouls that back to the netting. It's three to nothing in favor of Livonia, top of the third here. All three runs. This one's hit hard. Nice hit by Fian helping himself with a double.
the sun is out. Tommy Stewart. Foul. That one's low, one and one. And that's going to get through. Oh. Zach Williamson. It's now four to nothing in favor of Livonia. <laughs> it's another base hit. Five to nothing. Single by Williamson. This is Debo. Jack Debo. Foul.
trip out to the mound. <clears throat> As I'm trying to fix everything here. Nice bunt for the second out. This is O'Connor. Or I'm sorry, this is Benitez, sorry. Charlie Lawyer delivers. <coughs> Ooh. A little high, the umpire says. <coughs> Strike three. <laughs> Today's game is brought to you by Erica Golnit, your licensed real estate salesperson for Real Incorporated, 607. 3-2-1959, committed to you, committed to the community. It's Erica Golnitz. Looking to buy or sell a property, Erica Golnitz. At the Valley Apparel and Design, they do custom apparel signage, everything you need, t-shirts, hats, fundraisers, anything you need from bumper stickers to keychains, whatever. They can do it, Valley Apparel and Designs. That's Computer Sales and Service, 180 Main Street in Hornell, 607-324-6424, Ed's Computers. Uh, not only computers, but network systems, printers, cabling, hard drives, and more at Ed's Computers. <clears throat> and by the Italian Villa, 196 Seneca Street in Hornell, the Italian Villa. Argentary family bringing you that great Italian food from the Italian Villa. And my favorite toasted subs that you can get there as well. And all your Italian favorites at the Italian Villa. Dr. Pat Pico, MD, 15 Loader Street. 585-596-4129, providing quality care to the residents of Steuben, Allegheny County for over 25 years, Dr. Pat Pico. Dr. Pico. And by Gilio's Plumbing and Heating and Cooling, 382-0836, Chad Gilio, 24-hour day emergency service, fully bonded and insured, Gilio's Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Yeah. 
what the scoreboard? Yeah. I know it's not, it's not working for me. I've kind of explained what? it a couple times. I'm not sure why well, it's I'm not working. I'm just getting on just to see what the yeah. thing it was. And I know it's, it's five nothing. Top of the bottom. Yeah, it's bottom, bottom, of, of, the bottom of the third. Bottom of the third. Yep. This is General Pico up. Still, this hasn't reset itself. I'm not sure why. I thought computers are supposed to. Oh, it gets under O'Connor that time. Did what you're supposed to, charge the ball, I like that. Looks at his glove. <laughs> That's always the best. Everyone does that. What happened there? Well, how'd they get through? It's oh. Don't worry, it happens to everybody. Happened to Lindor today in the Mets game. Actually, he didn't charge the ball, though. He waited for it to come to him. And it mishandled. Gennaro gets down to second. Andrew Davis at the plate with nobody out. Pico at second. Andrew Davis 0 for 1. They're 0 and 1. 0 for 1 today, I'm sorry. It's the second at bat. <laughs> Davis is going to be in the gap here. He's going to bring Pico home. Davis comes in. With an RBI double. Strike one and one to Davin Oyer. Uh, way behind that pitch. It's the 41st pitch from Counter Fian in this game. So, no, not in danger at all of. Overextending himself here. Popped out of play. That's 
going to be. Foul down third. Five to one is the score here. Bottom of the third inning. Again, Bob Pusher broadcast here from the Simmons and Rockwell broadcast booth here. Apologize, my scoreboard is not working on screen. Probably have to factor reset my system. Got him. Nice job by Williamson at first to scoop that up. <clears throat> Charlie Hoyer. Andrew Davis is second. Five to one's the score, bottom of the third inning. Hoyer has to duck. A strike two and one. <laughs> two and two. Lift, but should be an easy play for O'Keefe for the second out. Davis still at second, trying to get pushed over. Or home. That one's high. Catching, catching for Livonia's Jackson Cook. Doing a good job behind the plate. That's low, and Davis will move over. Having him all for one today. This would be the fifty second pitch. And a little over the shoulder catch by O'Keefe. We go to the fourth. And I'm gonna shut down again, so we're gonna lose you for just a second here why try to get back my scoreboard so
Okay, I'm back with you. And would you look at that, the scoreboard works. Five to one, top of the fourth. Brings up Ryan Bosch, the 11th grader. Ryan one for one today. Thank everybody for joining me from the beautiful Livonia area, one of my favorite places to film from. I always talk about it, just uh, especially the soccer. The stands aren't great for soccer, but the view is awesome. Same thing with football. Of course, now in football, we're, we have to get into the stands. We can't uh, film from the roof anymore, unfortunately, maybe when they get their new facility set up. So Seth, 80 up, 80's one for two. Umpire being ridiculed, <laughs> not directly. You can hear, nice pitch, Charlie, nice pitch, Charlie. <laughs> uh, not getting any help from the home umpire, that's what the, everyone's saying. That one's high and inside, two and oh. Boyer up to 67 pitches. count to 80. That's inside. <laughs> you can see Charlie even looking back at the umpire that time, or not at the umpire, but looking at the bench, going with his hands up. I don't know how much better I gotta get. gets away. Down to second goes 80. So one out, 80 at second. Brady O'Keefe. Seems like I've said Brady O'Keefe's name for 10 years. <laughs> He's always been, seems like he's always been on varsity. It's the COVID years, he's getting that extra. The college transfer portal, the high school transfer portal. Getting those extra years in.
There's a strike. Three and one. Oh, that a strike? I'm confused. That looked like a ball. It's hard to tell. My replay didn't go back far enough. Charlie's a nice kid. Very quiet. So two down. Connor Fian at the plate. Fian lifts one. Oyer underneath it. And the third out gets out of trouble. Today's game is brought to you by Dr. John Wayne, Dr. Rich Joukowsky at Wayne Cow Practice Associates, 20 Park Drive in Hornell. Back and neck pain, headaches, all your spine care needs. Thanks, Dr. Wine and Dr. Rich Joukowsky at Wayne Cow Practice Associates. <coughs> Maple City Collision, the best auto body repair shop around is Maple City Collision, right there in North Hornell on the campus of Park Maple City Dodge. All makes and models all years. Maple City Collision. Thanks, John Birch at Maple City Collision. And by John and Dagan, general and trial practice, probably serving the Southern Tier since 1989. Call 324-6690 for John and Dagan. Cornerstone Church in Genesee, the old Universalist Church used to be there many years ago. And by Butler Excavating and Concrete, City View Towing, Transport, and Auto Repair. Call 324-7400. Thanks, Brian Butler, Mike Hess, Daryl Howell, and the rest of the crew. That's where I get my car repairs done at City View. And I bring my nephews from Naples, New York, over to get his car repairs done there as well. And it's finally here. That's right, golf season. It may be a little wet right this <laughs> time of year, but uh, with all the rain we've been getting, but log on to Twin Hickory Golf Club. Check out the beautiful 18 holes overlooking the beautiful Canisteo Valley. Check out membership rates. They got leagues and much, much more. Thanks, Twin Hickory Golf Club. Do Twin Hickory Golf Club. Ooh, just off his glove. Darn it, I missed it. Nice try. <clears throat> that was Braden Vaughn. Caden O'Connor dove for it. Nice try, Caden. It would have been a cool instant replay, but I just missed it. Because I'm looking at a monitor, but I wasn't at that particular point. And when I'm not looking at the monitor, I miss what I'm filming. Because <laughs> the monitor is showing what the camera is looking at. Hope everyone had a nice Easter. We had over 350 kids at our Easter egg hunt for the Hornell Kiwanis Club we did the, sad, the, the day before Easter. It was a beautiful day for it, a little chilly, but the Easter bunny showed up. <clears throat>
That's high and inside. Had to chase Dylan Cullen back a little bit. Or have to turn his shoulder away. Two and O to Cullen. <laughs> I'm sorry, one and two now. Oh, there was a strike. Oh, low and outside, but must have caught just the corner, umpire says. Cullen goes down. So one down, Braden Vaughn on first. Brings up Daniel Barnett. Barnett. Or I'm sorry, this is Braden Fowser. Comes in for Barnett. Hauser with a 0 oh and 1. That's low and outside, but Vaughn can't go anywhere from first. Nice job behind the plate. Jackson Cook, the senior catcher. This one. And just foul. Wasn't sure if uh, Bosch was going to. Get over there in time. That's low and outside. Two and two to Fowler. Fian. About to pitch his 63rd pitch here. That's high. Oh, that wasn't high. I don't like the way he signals. He can't even tell it's a strike or whatever. He doesn't yell it. And it was a little high. As you can see, Coach... Uh, Flint wasn't happening. I didn't think it was a strike either. Not an easy job to be an umpire. There's a base hit. It's going to send Vaughn to second. And it's going to get through it. Oh, Vaughn. And it's still going to make it. And an error lets the uh, runners advance. You can see it. <laughs> and I was talking to Mr. Stewart, Tommy's father. Again, we were just talking about, I just said, the errors. I go, I don't know how many earned runs, and I'm going to have to look back, were, have been actually recorded this year so far for Hornell and for the teams they've played. There's just been a lot of unearned runs across the plate. This is Gennaro Pico. Two outs. Gennaro 0 for 1. That's inside. 2-0 to Pico. Lucas Hancock in running at second. Well, just alone in the Hornell game and he walks, bases loaded in the game in Dansville. 
Cornell only had one earned run, but they won the game four to one. We're going to take a little trip to the mound. Look through my sheets here. Of course, Livonia coached by Scott Gilman. So Livonia comes with a two and four record. They lost to Dansville 18 to nine in the first game of the season. Then beat Bolivar Richburg eight to six. Or I'm sorry, lost to Bolivar Richburg eight to six. Defeated Bloomfield five to four. Lost to Haverlane six to three and defeated Rochester Prep Bishop Cardi Archangel. <laughs> what a long name. Uh, that was 13 to nothing yesterday. So Haverling, or I'm sorry, Livonia. Andrew Davis is one for two at the plate. Two down, bases loaded, five to one the score here at the bottom of the fourth inning. Low. Two and one. Davis right back to Fian and the easy throw over to Williamson and the out. So Hornell, bases loaded. Can't get it done. be back after this or in a moment here let's have to reset that as well my commercials Welcomes you to Alfred State, the number one SUNY regional college. Learn professional services like business, medical, or food service. Your skills will serve you well in the future. Launch your career with ASC Career Paths at alfredstate.edu. After you've been injured at work, you might feel like you're up against your employer. But the truth is, your employer isn't the opponent, the insurance company is. You need a workers' comp attorney with the knowledge and experience to maximize your benefits. Call Connors and Ferris today as we have dedicated over 20 years of our professional careers to helping injured workers. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Uh, my name is Richard Powell. I'm an athlete at Alfred State College. The reason why I came to see Dr. Wilhelm is because of my shoulder injuries. Um, I had suffered an injury on my 21st birthday on the field against Gallaudet. He did a great job with my surgery. I played the entire season with it perfectly fine. I was able to tackle people without like restrictions. The best and quickest recovery I ever had from any injury that I had working with him. He gets the job done and he knows what he's doing. So I highly recommend you guys come to see Dr. Wilhelm. Top of the fifth. Tommy Stewart. Uh, 
Stewart two for two. There's a strike. Charlie Ware throwing his 80th pitch right now. One and two to Stewart. Foul tipped. Must be Livonia already had their spring break. I believe, um, yeah, they already did. Because they play on Friday against Cal Mum and then again next week against Waco. It's all based on Bosey's schedule. I'm pretty sure we're obviously in the Stuben Shimong Bosey's. So all the schools corning down that way. Also have spring break starting this week. Two and two. Bruno doesn't meet them again until May 6th in Livonia. We'll be up there for that game. Nice job. That time by Evingham over to Vaughn. Brings up Williamson. Williamson also two for two, so Stewart's a good out. Williamson will also be if they can get him to. <laughs> There's a strike. Oh, and two to Williamson. Nice play, right back to Charlie. Two down, nice job, Charlie. <laughs> that's, gotta be, that's gotta get your adrenaline up. So two down to bow up. The ball 0 for 1. <clears throat> 2 and 0 <clears throat> to Debo. <clears throat> Three and 0. <clears throat> <laughs> Someone goes down the middle, but just high. Walked him. <laughs> Brings up Caden O'Connor. O'Connor 0 for 1 today. Oh, here, up to 92 pitches. Connor. 
Kind of right in that no man's land there. So to bow it second and O'Connor at first. Benitez up. Benitez 0 for 2 at the plate today. That one skims the dirt. Runners stay home. Don't forget to give us a like on YouTube. Let us know you enjoy the broadcast. No matter how bad I am. Helps me out. Earns me more money. <laughs> wow. Oh, and just out of the reach of Davis. And a base clearing double. Makes it seven to one. <laughs> this is Ryan Bosch. Boshy, they call him. I heard some. I think they just said that Boshy. <clears throat> People call me Paishi. <laughs> I guess everyone puts a Y on people's names. Even though my last name's not Paish, but it's Paishur. Fouled off. There's a nice pitch. Two and two. And two. <laughs> they call Davin Oyer, who's at second base for Hunter, they call him Doyer. And pitching is Charlie Oyer, and I just heard someone say, hey, way to go, Choyer. I guess you can easily tell them apart that way, Choyer and Doyer. Two, three, or full count here to Bosch. Two down. And fouled off. Yeah. 
And got him. The score first air federal credit union open an apex checking account checking account that pays you top of the or I'm sorry <laughs> I'm distracted because the Lavonia girls are just walked by me I was gonna find out what they have the of the softball how they ended up um, so anyways yeah so thanks first heritage they're my bank they should be yours first heritage the Dagan funeral home 38 Church Street in Hornell cremation services 1695 plus the crematory fee they're my uh, funeral home <laughs> they should be your no <laughs> that'd be kind of funny if I said that but the Dagan funeral home thanks Dagan funeral home. it's called free tuition plus and so much more scholarships financial lead plans the number one SUNY regional college by US News rankings Alfred State College find out where the number why they're, why they're number one Alfred State College hit the ground running at Alfred State And by Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorney's offices in Buffalo, Rochester, New York City. Call 585-262-COMP for Connors and Ferris. Proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Red Raiders. And the Ryan agencies, Hornell, Jasper, and Wellsville, three gate locations to serve you better. Jeff Ryan, insurance protection you can rely on from the Ryan agencies. Thanks, Jeff Ryan. Simmons and Rockwell Ford, Simmons and Rockwell Nissan, right across the street from each other. Top notch sales service, make car buying simple. So simple when you go to Sims and Rockwell. So top of the fifth we go, or bottom of the fifth we go. And just like that, a base hit. Charlie Oyer. <laughs> Oyer lifts it. Over the fence. Just foul, though. Strike Oyer. It looked like he was going to swing, but didn't. 0 oh 2. That's low. 2 or 1 and 2. This is bottom of the fifth. high two and two again Oyer the pitcher oh for two today but a hit would help his cause Oyer and nice catch right out to O'Keefe
Base hit. Logan Snyder. Oh, and it hits him. It's going to bring a run home. is the plate as we go out to the mound here. So the Hornell girls softball team won to get their first victory of the season to beat Livonia five to four. Alexi Simpson got on first, stole second, and then Jordan Dyrene. This one's a hit. Bases. They're, oh, they're gonna they were gonna try it home. They're gonna keep them back. Daniel Barnett. Good for Daniel. I gotta get our score right. I'm way off here. Get it in just a second. Evingham and Vaughn scored. So Barnett, Logan Snyder at second. Everyone's yelling for a balk. Yeah, you can't, let's see if we can see what's going on. You really can't see, I guess. That happened, the Pittsburgh Pirates game against the Mets last night. And before he even threw a pitch, there was a balk on the Pittsburgh uh, pitcher. Aaron McInerney seeing his first at bat. If you didn't hear me, I said the 5-4 to four was the final. The Hornell girls win their first game of the season, beating Livonia 5-4. to four. And 
Jordan Dyerine's walk-off hit. One out, two on. Barnett at second, Logan Snyder at third. Aaron McInear's first at bat of the ball game. And goes down swing and at three straight pitches. It's gonna bring up Gennaro Pico. Pico 0 for 1. That's high. Two down. Nicole Harwood just commented the girls 1 5 to 4. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> Nikki Nick. strike. One and two. <laughs> Fian up to 92 pitches. That's fouled off. Livonia's uniforms, not the baseball, but the softball, are like unmistakable. If they were coming from two miles away, you could tell it was Livonia, just their colors. <clears throat> and nice pitching to get out of the inning. Two strikeouts by Fian. Throw the fastball, especially. We'll be back. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'd be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan what would you give for a child you loved to make their wish come true to help them fight a critical illness just imagine what you'd do. You see, wishes are so powerful, and you can make them real. They can give a child back their childhood, even change the way they feel. Every single one of us can make the stars align, because when we come together, hope and joy will shine. Welcome back, Gennaro Pico is coming in to pitch. First time I've seen him pitch this year, Gennaro. I did forget I had another graphic but to give you the Class B standings. Wellsville eight and one coming into today. I see uh, Notre Dame Batavia has joined the ranks. They've only played two games, though. I'm not sure why they're so far behind. And I double-checked that just to see if it wasn't updated or not, but they, it, it has been updated. So they've only played two games this year. You can see 
Wellsville way ahead of everybody. Of course, I think Wellsville, some of those games were down south um, in Myrtle Beach, I believe. Dansville, Midlake, Waco, North, Rose, Walcott, Waterloo, Penny, a lot of the same familiar names. Of course, Kane Steel Greenwood joining the B ranks this year. Hornell and Livonia down toward the bottom. <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, every team makes sectionals. So you just want to prevent or avoid any injuries and get into sectionals. This is Seth 80. That one's high from G-Man. Wow, what a throw and get him! All the guys coming in. Uh, Wyatt, I mean, I know that wasn't Wyatt. It was Daniel Barnett. There's Daniel. That was a great throw by Barnett. Take a look at that in real time here. After this, well, that's going to be a foul. Here's that play again in real time by Barnett. Barnett hustling as best he can over there. You see Wyatt too as well. <laughs> So Brady O'Keefe up. O'Keefe over two. Pico's been a little high here. Ooh, and it just missed him. I heard a, but it must have hit. Logan Snyder's glove. <laughs> nice strike out. O'Keefe 0 for 3, an unusual 0 for 3 for him. Gonna bring up Connor Fian. <clears throat> that one in the dirt. from pitching to third and basically switched places with Gennaro Pico. Nice play by Oyer. Right on a line. Beautiful job, Charlie. Today's game brought to you by Wilkins Auto Sales. Looking for car haulers, utility trailers, dump trailers, 
They've got it all at Wilkins Auto Sales, just outside of Hornell on your way to Alfred. Give them a call, 607-368-2842. Wilkins Auto Sales. How about for your side-by-side traveling lawnmower, <laughs> whatever you want. Snowmobiles, they can do it all. Strobel Supply 40 Charmont Industrial Park in Hornell. Actually, some of those trailers up there are absolutely beautiful. I went in, they got kitchens in them. Uh, anything you need, for, you know, especially it looks, I think look for motocross and stuff like that when you go places, uh, travel. And I know there's a couple motor, uh, uh, motorsports businesses around here where they have trailers like that and they've got kitchens and stuff for them so pretty cool and they have them at wilkins again strobel supply 40 shelma industrial park thanks strobel's 3m dealer a dupont paint and chemical dealer log on to strobelsupply.com strobel supply lamax auto max maximize your dollars every day with a trip to lamax auto max and lamax pro wrench tire and auto 193 Seneca Street, right? You can almost see it from the baseball stadium here. Long out of LaMax, AutoMax, it's 2Xs.com for a complete inventory of their used trucks, vans, and autos. Oyer Self Storage. 140 units on the lots up there. 24 hour day access, long term discount, safe and secure. 382 80. 8172, that's 382-8172. Excuse me. Had a grilled cheese sandwich here at the ballpark today. St. James Hospital's orthopedics department thanks St. James and all their doctors in St. James. There's one lifted. Pretty high, but easy play. Out there for O'Keefe. This one lifted. Coming over for it is Bosch. Fian still in the game here. That was his 97th pitch. <laughs> Charlie Oyer had that great play at third in the top half of the inning. Oyer 0 for 3, though. He's got to get himself back in the hitting mode. Again, welcome everybody. I see someone from Wisconsin watching. They're always on. <laughs> South Carolina, New Jersey online as well. Welcome to today's game between Livonia and Hornell. Livonia two and four, Hornell one and three on this season. Livonia did have a game scheduled. I see that must got rained out. I don't recognize the team that it was. Let me give you a name here. It might have been when they if they went down south. It was called a uh, game Raceland. It was April 1st. Oh, it says away. Ooh. Oyer almost didn't need to wake up and shave tomorrow. That one's a little Oyer walks. So a two out walk from Fian. It's 101 pitches by Connor. Okay. 
So, pinch a runner. For Oyer. It's Hayden Smith comes in to run. There's a strike. Wyatt Evingham. That one gets through. Smith down to second. but another great play by O'Keefe. Just out there makes it look so easy, Brady does. Erica Golnitz, your licensed real estate salesperson for Real Incorporated, 607-382-1959. Committed to you, committed to this community. Now we go to the, was that the bottom of the sixth? So this is the top of the seventh, right? Yes, we're going to the top of the seventh with Tony Stewart coming up. Sorry, I got distracted, but thank you, Erica Golnitz, for all your support. Looking to buy or sell a property, it's Erica Golnitz. Valley Apparel and Designs, they do custom apparel and signs. 281-8777, team school sports, work apparel, and so much more. Thanks, Valley Apparel and Designs. Ed's Computer Sales and Service, 180 Main Street in Hornell. 607-324-6420, not just computers and computers repair, printers, cabling, hard drives, any kind of thing you need. They also do security systems as well. It's Ed's Computers. The Italian Villa, 196 Seneca Street. Forget they got all your Italian favorites, plus chicken wings, burgers, steaks. You can see the beautiful food there, does not. Those pictures don't do it justice. It's absolutely delicious. You buy one meal, you actually can eat for three days with it. So thank you, the Italian Villa, Dr. Pat Pico. MD 15 Loader Street, 585-596-4129, providing quality care to the residents of Steuben, Illini County for over 25 years, Dr. Pat Pico. There's Tommy Stewart. Stewart, two for three. Yelling out to the fans here because the scoreboard on site doesn't work. Ever since they put the new lighting, lighting system in, <laughs> they apparently cut the line to the scoreboard. Uh. So we'll probably have to dig it up again, <laughs> dig up the system. <laughs> dig up the field that they already just tried to repair because of the new lighting system. Actually, they did, like I said, they did a lot. Put a new, uh, new lighting underneath the stadium. Because if anyone knows how these lights work, they're very, very focal. And so everything else around it is extremely dark. It's not like the old um, mercury vapor and sodium vapor, vapor lights. This one is lifted. Oh! That's all right, that's a problem because no, who was calling it? Let's see if we can see it on the replay. You never want your, you always want someone coming in, not going out, if you can help it. I don't think, uh, to be honest with you, I don't think Daniel Barnett could see it at first. It looked like he put his hands up like, 
Then he pounds the ground. <laughs> Puts his hands up and then pounds the ground. Because <laughs> Barnett's been really good out there in left field. So uh, Williamson up. Zach Williamson, two for three today. Game time. Well, I don't know the game time actually because we had to reset the. Well, I can tell you the game time exactly. Two hours and ten minutes. Oh, and. Charlie's got to get down and die for that ball. Tried to backhand it. Get your body in front of that. Of course, you don't want to take one to the face either. So two straight <laughs> hits to lead things off your top of the seventh. This is Jack Thibault. Thanks for the likes. Got six likes. So the other hundred people watching don't like it. <laughs> My broadcast. I don't blame you. Tibo 0 for 1 today. <laughs> That's a strike. 2 and 2 from Gennaro Pico. Oh, he's safe. Sure, what? Why it was talking about? Why it was yelling to somebody? So it makes it eight to four. Runners on the corners. You got Williamson on third, Thibault on first. There we go, three more likes. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I don't know how the, but it, well, YouTube tells you, tells me to always ask for likes. Because it's figured into some kind of uh, formula and of how 
I don't make much, hardly any money at all from YouTube itself, but all my all my money comes from my advertisers, and that ball's in the dirt. Williamson crosses the plate and does fast up. The girls from Livonia liked it. I couldn't tell what he was doing. 11 likes. Don't forget to subscribe to Paish Sports on YouTube and press the notification button as well. I do not make any money from the school districts or anything. All my money comes from advertising, so all my income does. So that's why we have so many ads. So nine to four, nobody out yet. That foul. This is where I've got to pay attention because there's no netting in front of me. Anytime you have a left-handed batter up. Of all the games I've done in this position for the last four years, I've been hit once. <laughs> and that was in a Hornell Steamers collegiate game. Came back and actually ricocheted off the camera, hit my cheek, and continued on. But I wasn't really paying attention. I heard the ball hit. I looked, and by that po point, it was already more than three quarters of the way up here and couldn't, not that fast. So Caden O'Connor on first. Now Benitez, Benitez is up. Jacob Benitez, the 10th grader, one for three today. No, no throw. That's a good stop that time by Logan Snyder, but not throwing it because you got Thibault on third. You don't want to take a chance of giving up another run. You're already down by five. Oh, and one to Benitez. Hmm. Pico, 32 pitches in here. Benitez, one and two. Two and two. Temperature's dropping right down. Fifty-six degrees. Supposed to start raining again. At 10 o'clock down in this area. 35 miles away is Livonia, so. Usually you can expect rain. Trip to the mound. Gennaro going to Alfred University next year to play basketball. Wants to be a doctor. Going to start at AU. Leading scorer, all-time leading scorer in base or basketball for Hornell. Not sure what his total was. I never thought to ask for this season. And talking to Tommy Stewart's father again, he, we were talking about that too, about uh, what a year for basketball in this area. All these kids were high scorers for their local teams and around, you know, beat their local scoring records. It was like four or five of them. Yeah, 
it's outside. at the plate. <laughs> what they call yeah they tagged them, didn't they? Not sure what was going on there. We don't need another drop third strike issue. <laughs> Actually, the new lighting, this is the first time we've seen the new lighting, or I've been filming in the new lighting here. It looks pretty good. Nice. So two outs. Rustic Lux, don't throw that piece of furniture away. Bring it into Rustic Lux for reloved, refurbished furniture. It's Rustic Lux. Check out their big showroom on the Right across from the Hornell High School tennis courts over here, Rustic Lux and bike. Back and neck pain, headaches, all your spine care needs. Dr. John Wyan, Dr. Rich Joukowsky, Wyan Chiropractic Associates. Stop in and check out Wyan Chiropractic. We give them a call, 324-7246. Maple City Collision, Auto Body Repair. Tell them John Birch sends you. That's right, remember the kid from the TV commercials 25 years ago? Yeah, now he owns Maple City Collision. Auto body repair, 324-1155. <coughs> John and Dagan, general and trial practice. Probably serving the Southern Tier since 1989. He's basically started almost the same time I did broadcasting, John. And was the host of my first TV show I created called Sports Talk. I'll have to bring all those. I still saved all those interviews and everything from Sports Talk back then. And the highlights... All those things I have, so I'm going to have to pull them out and rebroadcast them. Butler Excavating and Concrete, City View Towing, Transport, and Hunter Repair, call 324-7400. Thanks, Brian Butler, Mike Huss, Daryl Howell, and the crew up there at Butler Excavating and City View Towing. Twin Hickory, that's right, golf is here. Finally, Twin Hickory Golf Club. Log on to twinhickorygolfclub.com. Check out their membership rates. Also, leagues are forming. Check out pictures of the beautiful course. And buy a gift certificate from Twin Hickory. Twin Hickory. Simmons and Rockwell Ford. Simmons and Rockwell Nissan. Thanks. Everybody. Roger Payne up there at Simmons and Rockwell. The general manager of both the Nissan and Ford dealership. And then the Ryan agencies. Hornell, Jasper, and Wellsville. Three great locations to serve you better. Jeff Ryan Insurance Protection. You can rely on from the Ryan agencies. <laughs> so Seth 80 is up 82 for 3 today he's got runners at 2nd and 3rd O'Connor at 2nd and that one foul it went into the highway they said <laughs> yeah, that highway is quite a distance over there the four lane. Wow. 
but it was foul. Nine to four on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Strike two on the mound is Seamus Cork. Seamus. And that one rips through. One run home. And a little bit of trouble bobbling it. Hanging on to it, and two runs come home. <laughs> to see who that was there. So eleven to four. <coughs> Steal time by eighty. This one's ripped, another base hit. They're going to sell an eighty home. Slides in safely. Nice base hit by O'Keefe. Brady O'Keefe, one for four today. Makes it 12 to four. Safe. Nice hustle by O'Keefe. <laughs> nice fast pitch. And that's the third out. So 12 to four. Today's game brought to you by Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys, offices in Buffalo, Rochester, New York City. Call 585-262-COMP for Connors and Ferris. Proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, everything section five, Connors and Ferris. And by Alfred State College. Give them a call. Check out their website for scholarships, financial aid plans, and their number one regional college by U.S. News Rankings. Hit the ground running with a degree from Alfred State College. Alfred State College. And by the Dagan Funeral Home, 38 Church Street, North Elk Cremation Services, 1695 plus the crematory fee. Thanks, Jim Dagan, Laura Pico at the Dagan Funeral Home. The Dagan Funeral Home. First Heritage Federal Credit Union open an Apex checking account, a checking account that pays you. That's right, cash bag rewards for an ATM fees are funded. Do you Apex? I do. First Heritage Federal Credit Union corners of Church and Tennessee Street in Hornell. 
things stay the same with the score here. Livonia is going to move to three and four. Hornell will drop to one and four. It's all about the seeding points away to the right there. You can see because Notre Dame Batavia only has two games. Obviously, it's really too early in the season to consider any kind of final standings or where they're going to be placed, but I thought it was just interesting that Notre Dame Batavia is in Class B this year. And so wasn't Cana Steel Greenwood. There were two teams that were not last year. Dansville, you can see number three. That's the only team Hornell beat, and Dansville's only loss was to Hornell. Yeah, it was yesterday. Bottom of the seventh, last chance for Hornell. Down 12 to four, Braden Vaughn, the first baseman at the plate. And that one fouled off into the bus path. Another one fouled back to the netting. 0-2 oh, to Vaughn. Vaughn one for one today with a walk. Connor Fian still in the pitching. This is 100th ninth pitch. Looking for a strike there, and it did look like a strike, Connor. Side two and two. That one inside. Full count. That one inside walks him. Ashton Hooker at the plate, Ashton. <laughs> Ashton, an 11th grader. All around good athlete. That's low. Oh, and he rang him up. Nice pitch.
Uh, below the knees. But O'Keefe, or O'Connor, gets the call. One out. Logan Vandercheck. Seeing his first at bat of the game. So a walk to check moves Vaughn to second with one out in the 12 to four ball game here. Bottom of the seventh, last chance for an L. Okay, I apologize, we had uh, different Caden O'Connor isn't a pitch. I'm going by the game cast that is sent to me. So I didn't have the right amount of pitches. So that was 16th pitch from O'Connor. They did take, oops. Ball one. <laughs> Vaughn at second, Vondracek at first. <laughs> that one's high. Three and oh. Having to duck a couple times to get out of the way, base is loaded. Now for Gennaro Pico. But before that, we're going to have a trip to the mound. And we're changing pitchers. We'll be back.
Okay, welcome back. 12 to four, bottom of the seventh, one out. Stewart warming up. He's a little bit trouble, Tommy. Both warm-up pitches here have been low and way outside. He'll get it. There we go. They don't list on the Livonia roster that we get who you know sometimes it lists that they are brought in as pitchers and you know our second base pitchers whatever and there's nothing listed for Tommy I know he's a great athlete so so Gennaro Pico with one out bases loaded And wouldn't you know it, I knew it. It was a strike looking. <laughs> Back safe to second. Is Vondacek. The thing is, I'm sure the coaches are telling him, we need runs. You can't afford to get picked off. So don't take any chances on the bases. That one's low in the dirt, one and one. Gennaro 0 for two today, so chance for him to. Do something good here for the team. There's a base hit. Vaughn comes home, Vondracek is being sent home. Seamus Cork to third. Center fielder Andrew Davis up. Good crowd here tonight for a cold night at the ballpark. Probably 250 people, I would say, are here. It's unusual. Maybe just a tad less if I look on the. Probably 150, at least lower that <laughs> as I look twice here. Andrew Davis with a. That's low. Pico to second. Runners in difference, so won't count as a steal. That one fouled off. So one and two to Davis. Davis one for four today. Two and two to 
Davis. And he rings him up. Nice pitch from Tommy. So it's up to Davin Oyer. The two down, two on. If the rain holds off tomorrow, we should be live from Bolivar Richburg for the Hornell girls softball game tomorrow night. That one fouled back. Oyer one for four. So down to their last strike. That one's low on the dirt. Seamus Cork crosses the plates. Pico advances to second. <laughs> Hornell still needs a whole lot of runs here. Not only down by five. That one. Outside, as Gennaro Pico crosses the plates. Well, the new lighting system does look nice here. They looks like it's bright in every spot. Stewart's got time, and that's the game. Nice job, Livonia. Wins it 12 to eight. They move to three and four. Hornell moves to one and four. Thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow night, weather permitting, if that game is canceled for some reason. That'll be the last game for about a week and a couple of days or so because of the spring break here for Hornell. I want to thank all my advertisers. Thanks all the viewers. And we'll hopefully see you tomorrow night from Bolivar Richburg. Have a good day, everybody. Or evening.